Welcome into the Eagles Nest. I'm Mike Baggerman. Today on the show, we'll have the voice of Brockport men's ice hockey, Ryan Gates, with us to talk about the hockey team's early struggles this season. We'll also run our two minute drill and our flying highlight. All of that coming up on the Eagles Nest. Welcome back to the Eagles Nest. I'm joined right now by the play-by-play -play commentator for the Brockport Golden Eagle Ice Hockey Team on 89.1 The Point, Ryan Gates. Ryan, thanks for joining us. Thank you. The Golden Eagles are an 0-3 this season, a very slow start to a team that hosted a playoff game the last two years. Is it time for this team to panic? No. This is how they started the season off last year. They lost to Plattsburgh and Potsdam opening weekend, and they bounced back. At the end of last year, they proved that they're a good team, they got on a roll when that power play started clicking halfway through the season, especially against Nichols in the Skidmore tournament. Five power play goals on seven chances. When that power play gets rolling again, eventually it will. I've got to have faith. I think this team will get on a roll. they got a lot of good talent. James Cody, Ray Trombley, they got plenty of good players on his team. It's definitely not time for this team to panic yet. Uh, the Todd Sheridan era is over in Brockport, but goaltender Oliver Wren was phenomenal in his first game against Utica. But 12 goals in the past two games, five against Potsdam, seven against Plattsburgh. Is Wren really that player we saw versus Utica, or was he playing above his true abilities? Um, Oliver Wren is a very, very good goaltender, and he played amazing against Utica, and he's made a lot of good saves against Potsdam and Plattsburgh. He's keeping his team in the games when there's some saves that he should not even be making. This team is... His defense has not been playing well so far, and they've been giving up a lot of odd man rushes and other things like that. So he's had a lot of struggles just due to the fact that he's had a lot of chances given up against him. James Cody's really proving why he's a leader of this team. Two goals and three assists in three games. How important has he been to the team? Yeah, James Cody, he really is. He's one of the top leaders of the team. He's very important. He's always out there leading his team to trying to get them to victory. First one on the ice, last one off. And he's really been doing well so far. I mean, against Potsdam, the play he made to feed Tom Galliani was unreal. He made two defenders miss and was fending off a third one, a behind-the-back blind pass to Galliani. He just knows where his teammates are out on the ice. And it's good that Brockport has that guy they can kind of lean on. He's a big point scorer, and he's been proving it the past two years. And so far this year, he's proving it again. Now, Brockport's traveling to Morrisville on Friday. Haven't won a game yet on the season. They're 0-3. What do they have to do to come out on top? Well, one of the big things is discipline. They took a lot of penalties against both Potsdam and Plattsburgh. If they can stay out of the box, they had some nice momentum rolling late in that second period, but when they started to take penalties against Plattsburgh, things started to fall apart against them. But if they just stay out of the box and let things keep rolling for them, the offense was doing pretty well in that second period. They can really go against this Morrisville team, who's ranked above them in the preseason Suniac poll, but... Uh, I disagree personally, and I think that Brockport should have a little chip on their shoulder because I personally don't think that Morrisville should have been above that pole. Ryan Gates, play-by-play -play commentator for the Brockport Golden Eagle ice hockey team. You can listen live to Brockport Golden Eagle Athletics exclusively on 89.1 point. Brockport taking on Morrisville pregame show, 645. Puck drop going to be at 7. Ryan, thanks for your time. Thank you. We'll send it over to Brian Mazurowski with your Brockport Golden Eagle sports update. I'm Brian Mazurowski with your Eagles Nest Sports Update. Another busy week in Brockport sports, and again, we'll start with the Brockport football team. The football team embarked on their first long road trip of the season as they headed out to New Jersey to take on the Big Red Machine Kane. Junior running back Alex Hendrickson ran for 100 yards on the ground, but turnovers would prove to be costly for Brockport, as Kane's two pick sixes would be the tombstone pile driver that put Brockport down for the three count. The final score, Brockport 14, Kane 34. The football team will be back in action this Saturday as they hit the road again to take on Montclair State. Kickoff at 1 p.m. 
and you can catch all the action starting with a 12:30 pregame show on 89.1 The Point. The Brockport men's soccer team started their quest to return to the NCAA tournament. This past Saturday, they hosted Cortland in the first round of the N of the SUNYAC tournament. Excuse me. Mike Bremen scored early in the game, and Brockport would hold on for a one to nothing win. The shutout was goalkeeper Joe Marino's 10th of the season, tying a school record. Brockport moves on to face Fredonia in what amounts to a semifinal matchup, number one contender match, Friday at Oneonta. If they win, they will head to the championship match on Saturday. The field hockey team has rebounded nicely from a disappointing season last year. They will be competing in the SUNYAC playoffs but first they would have their season finale at U of R. Brockport dropped that one three to nothing, but are looking only ahead now. They will face Geneseo this Friday in the first round of the SUNYAC tournament. Former guest on the Eagles Nest, Matt Avery, was Brockport's top performer at the SUNYAC Cross Country Championships this past Saturday. Brockport would take fifth overall in that event. And finally, the Golden Eagle ice hockey team played its first home games this weekend, and the pair of games were also the team's first SUNYAC conference games of the season. Brockport welcomed in Potsdam on Friday. After a strong start, they fell behind, eventually losing to the Bears 5-2. Saturday, they were looking to rebound, and it saw hockey's first matchup against Plattsburgh. After a rough first period, Brockport came within one, thanks to goals by Ray Tremblay and Ian Finnerty. But Brockport's downfall was having the discipline of Stone Cold, allowing Plattsburgh to go 3-for-6 on the power play and falling in the end by a score of 7-3. The winless hockey team now goes to Morrisville on Friday. That does it for the Eagles Nest Sports Update. We'll take a quick break, come back. 